Welcome back for another video and today I want to cover something that I actually covered on a Patreon podcast last week and that is an ultralight duck hunting setup. Now for those of you guys who are new to the channel and don't know anything about the way I hunt, normally I take probably too much than I actually need. So this year I made a plan to kind of downsize my spread and make some ultralight duck hunts. So basically, I'm going to pack in really light, get in really fast, set up really fast, and pack out really fast. So to do that, I'm downsizing the spread. But there's a little bit of a kicker to this because this decoy spread that I just put together is going to be killer. So stick with me on this one. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and make sure to hit a thumbs up for me. Let's see if we can get this video up to 500 likes. Last video I asked for a thousand and we barely even got there. I don't, I don't think we even got there. So please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Here's what we got for the setup. I'm super pumped about this. And I can't wait to show you guys. Um, this is something that I had to kind of think about a little bit, think about what I wanted to put into this. So let's go ahead and dive in here. First of all, I've got my sled. This is a beaver tail sled. It does have a cover. Uh, I've just got it inside of it right now. This is the, the decoy spread. There's gonna be other things I bring, of course, so like a shotgun. If Cora's coming, I'm gonna bring her blind, uh, my own blind bag, all the camera stuff. So today I just kinda wanted to focus mainly on the decoy spread in and of itself. So inside of here, first of all, I've got some of these. This is a Higdon Pulsator. I've actually got three of them. So long story short, uh, last year I bought two and I really liked them a lot. I went on a hunt with my buddy Blake here in Kansas and we threw these in his decoy bag to pack it out from the hunt and I forgot to take them out. So two of these made their way up to Nebraska for the rest of the season after that hunt that was in like the beginning of December. So I'm like, okay, I don't have any pulsators anymore. So I, I actually went and bought another one. So I have three contemplating one more for this spread, but I love, love, Love these things. They're running on, uh, I believe, a 12 volt battery that's inside of them or six volt, but they're rechargeable. They throw a lot of water. They wiggle and dance and move, but they also have this bilge pump that squirts the water and it sprays up. Something that sold me on these was I was watching some drone video of these things running and I saw the water splashing and getting hit by the sunlight. I'm like, that is gonna attract some ducks. I've never been a huge fan of spinning wing decoys, so um, after I saw that, I'm like, that is what I need to do. I need to get a pulsator and use one of those in my set. So for the ultralight setup, we're going to bring three of these pulsators. I don't know if there's ever going to be a duck hunt where I don't bring at least one of them, but I want as much motion as I possibly can get. So we're going to bring all three pulsators for the ultralight setup. The rest of this spread is super basic and, uh, you guys will kind of see what I'm getting at here with this spread once I get this out and show you guys. So I've got my Motion Ducks decoy spreader. I've been using this thing. I absolutely love it. The motion it puts in the water is fantastic. So I've got the ultimate spreader. I've got eight decoys on it. They say that it only holds seven, but you can manage to put eight on it. On one spreader here, I've got four Mallard decoys. I got three Drakes and one Hen. These are the uh, Final Approach HD Mallards. These were the Live Mallards last year, but now the Live Mallards this year have got a facelift and some upgrades. So these are the HD Mallards now. Great decoys, they've held up awesome. Uh, I did do a review on these, so if you want to see that, you ought to check that out. And then the way this works, I don't know if I've shown you guys, recently but in the middle there's a little puck here and we got the four decoys that are spread out on the ends this little piece right here will connect this spreader to the other spreader starting out the season early season you know we'll do half mallards in the spread then we'll mix in some other puddle ducks so i've got one widgeon on here final approach live widgeon i've got a gadwall i love these gadwall decoys they look really good Got another gadwall, and then I've got the old faithful trusty dusty boot lip on there. So um, I might rearrange these and kind of mix and mingle which decoys are on what end of the spreader. But um, what I do is 
Yeah. I've seen questions about this on the uh, podcast Facebook group. I use a, I think this is a one and a half pound anchor. It says 0.7 kilograms. So you guys do the conversion there. But I use that and then it's got a really long bungee that attaches to this puck right here. And then I use a, uh, actually this is a gang rig clip. So I just clip it on to this. This is an old jerk rig I got. I got tired of using the really thin strings on jerk rigs. So this is a coated cable jerk rig. And so I just clip this gang rig clip right on to that coated cable, just like that. Makes it super easy to set up. So there's a tip for you guys. If you use a motion ducks, get yourself a gang rig clip and a coated cable line, and that'll keep uh, your fingers safe from getting cut, but it's also really easy to manage and keep track of the line and set things up. So that is the ultralight duck hunting setup. What I'll either do is bring a marsh seat or my Invisiman. And like I said, if Cora's coming, I'll probably bring her dog blind. But overall, this is like, a quarter of what I would normally bring, if that. I'm excited because with this setup, every single decoy will be moving, and if my hide is really good, I think this will be light out. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you guys do any ultra light setups like this, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys have done in the past to find success. I know Titus from Mid Valley Mercenary sometimes just takes two decoys with him, so um, I'm not that crazy yet. I think I do need a few numbers in my set to decoy some birds around here. So good variety of species. Everything's going to be moving. I can't wait to take this out because this will be super quick and easy. Take it out, set it up, find my hide, be ready to go. And uh, pick up's going to be just as easy. So pick up the three pulsators, tear down the motion ducks, and we'll be on our way. And everything fits in the sled, which is great. So super light, super easy to set up. It's going to be quick and easy. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this, and I'll catch you on the next video.